So Seema and Laura have something really creative that um, I we thought I thought it would be fun for everyone to see. And then you're going to um, share with people how they could make it if they wanted, right? Yes. And good afternoon, good morning, good night, everyone. I am from Colombia. I am here um, next to Medellin. I am sharing to you today a little bit of uh, what, are, what we are doing in my presentation about story tales uh, in, in therapy, you know. This is um, just a little uh, piece of paper put together with another little piece of paper you know and uh, then we can create a world with our poetry and with our songs and with our emotions uh, so this is called the infinite book so uh, i will share with you the instructions of how 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 this is made we can create it very easy and uh, uh, i want to share mine this is my infinite book. It's also called the never ending uh, card. And um, during this year in just for now, we start by doing what is necessary. Then what is possible. And after that, we do the impossible. During this year in just for now. So it repeats and repeats and repeats and we can start again. And Sima has another sample of what we can play with story tales, with poems, with our emotions, and we can create it with our children because a piece of paper can bring us a world. I remember a case um, when I was with a teenager um, had a crisis because he, he let um, go out his cat and uh, he was killed by a car and he has a diagnosis of schizophrenia. So during uh, that time he was alone and I, I came to his house before the paramedics because he needed uh, medicine intervention to, to, to be calmed. But he was totally mm, shocked like all of us, but a little bit more, you know, because of his condition. And uh, we created origami butterflies. And with origami butterflies, he made contact with me and he could come back to himself to feel better. Um, and now he's a grown, grown up man. <laughs> And he created this uh, amazing idea of business, like in Spanish is perfecto, perfecto equilibrio, like perfect balance, I think, to sell his art online. And he's doing well with a piece of paper put together. That's, that's what I wanted to share with you. And Sima, if you want to tell us about yours because she created one, a beautiful one. Thank you. Are you there? As, uh, Karen will tell you when uh, I get an idea, I will kind of run with it. So, um, you know, this infinity book really lends itself very beautifully to um, Violet's adaptation of the haiku, where you start with the one word, the title of the haiku, and then two words uh, about the title, and then three words, and then four words, and then you come back to the title. 
So um, I'll often have children write a haiku about themselves or a particular uh, emotion they've expressed. And uh, I recently came across this um, little format of, again, four things where um, it says, my name is, uh, and they suggest that you write your name backwards. So my name is Amiz, for example, um, elephants dream of me at night and uh, Aralias, which is a, the temple flowers in Sri Lanka. Aralias sing my name at dawn. I am older than fear and as wise as the mountain in Nepal. My name is Amiz. Um, so even a little poem like that really lends itself very um, well to go into the infinity book. And I really, um, I use um, working with paper origami a lot with my clients and I really, really enjoy it. I find it very magical. Um, and I use, uh, I use paper a lot even to make puppets, which is what I want to do at the conference. Uh, I actually forgot that I was going to present my puppets today. So just while we were on the call, just with this little bit of stuff around me, um, I made this little thing. And I have just a couple more to quickly show you. Um, this is also one. Um, Again, just with very simple, just waste stuff. You, and and the, it, the, um, there's foam at the back, which makes it very comfortable to operate. And uh, children can make these so quickly, they, they surprise themselves. Um, yeah, and I just, even this, this one has this at the back, just with paper. So it's really, really comfortable to operate and of course this can be shaped and all kinds of things can be done so um, what I want to do at the conference is work with puppets to actually um, make and then um, how I use them to uh, help children enhance their sense of self so we, hope, we hope you can enjoy and try and thank you, Laura. Try, and I thank you. heard about the Infinity Book before you mentioned it. So thank you. Thank you very much. Well, um, thank you both. Do you have the one of the poem, Seema, <clears throat> that you showed me? You're, you're muted, though. There is always light. Only we are brave enough to see it. If only we are brave enough to be it. There is always light. Amanda Gorman's uh, poem. From, she read it at the swearing-in of the president, I think. Yeah, 